Hey Scorpios, welcome to your weekly love reading for August 12th to August 21st for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpios. <laughs> so I was going to do water signs today, but I usually start, like, I, I usually do elemental days, and I usually start with, like, the youngest sign all the way to the oldest sign, so usually I do you guys second. Scorpios, your energy was calling me, like, very much like Taurus did a couple months back, like, SOSing me and I know why, okay? For those who've been with me for a while, no longer doing pre-shuffle sessions. I already reiterated that in the last batch, so I probably won't reiterate it again. For my newbies, hello, how are you? Um, I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and do the tarot reading. Scorpios, Scorpios, you're feeling the need to protect your energy. Some of you are feeling the need to go into hermit mode and some of you might not know why, some of you do. Most of you, I think, are not sure why, but you're just following your intuition, and it's good that you do. There's a snake in the grass, Scorpios. There's a snake in the grass. Someone has their beady little eye on you in a negative way, and it's because you are glowing, okay? You're glowing. You're in a great place right now. You're very happy with your life. You are getting a lot of positive attention, too. Don't get me wrong. You're getting a lot of positive attention. Some of you have a lot of suitors. Well, a lot. What's a lot, right? <laughs> That's all. You know, is it all in the eye of the beholder? What's a lot of suitors? Um... You're getting a lot of tension, Scorpio, and someone does not like it. <laughs> someone does not like it. Uh, my guides actually, <laughs> they showed me uh, a scorpion glowing in the dark, like when you shine UV light on on that, on that scorpions. A lot, of, you know, a lot of people are aware of that, actually. It's a really cool little fact about scorpions. And I don't know if it's all species, but I do believe it's most species. It might be all species. It might be all of them. But anyway... If you shine like a UV light on scorpions in the dark, they'll glow. Like they will literally glow in the dark. Very, very fluorescent. And scorpions, you live in the dark. The dark is your home. You know, it's like, and even in the darkest of times, your light still shines through and people know that. People can see that. So for my scorpions, my scorpions, my scorpios who may be going through a hard time or even my scorpios who are going through a great time. Either way, your light is shining really bright right now. People are loving that, but you got at least one person who is who is really not happy with it, who's really resentful. I feel a lot of resentment or almost borderline hatred, um, borderline hatred with that kind of energy. So Scorpios, you already are picking up on that. So please protect your energy. Please protect your energy. You're already in the midst of doing it. For some of you, this is in the workplace. You got, a, you know, a jealous hater at work. Some of you got one. Oh, some of you got more than one. Some of you got more than one. But you all know your own situation. Um, others of you, it's someone in your social circle. Scorpios, I, I feel like some of you already kind of know who this is. Like, yeah, I know they smile in my face. <laughs> but it's like, you haven't totally kicked them to the curb. Because it's like, you, you kind of know better. Like, you know that, what's that saying? Um, they keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Like that kind of um energy like you kind of know it's better to keep them thinking that you don't know what they're up to like let them think i don't know and let's see how far this person will take it or let's see what happens or let's see what transpires but you're being very careful to not tell them a lot which is good scorpio that's very scorpionic anyway to not share too much of what you got going on in your life especially if this is work and you got a lot of work stuff going on or the work stuff that you're planning um definitely keep that shit to yourself scorpios i do i'm getting a lot of romantic energy here <laughs> um I think that might be also why for some of you, this person might be an ex of yours or an ex of the other person um, that you might be dating or might, you know, have a soft spot for. Some of you, there's there's definitely someone who's been admiring you quite a bit, whether you're aware of it or not. I feel like some of you can feel that energy, but it hasn't come to fruition yet, but you can feel that energy like someone is kind of loving on you from afar and someone attached to them really doesn't like it really doesn't like it um just be mindful scorpios because this level of like little beady eye it's a little intense it's a little more intense than the average person who just has a little resentment towards someone or a little bit of jealousy towards someone so please be mindful of that because scorpios some of you are in amazing time in your life right now are coming to an amazing part in your life what is with this travel um i'm getting travel energy Scorpios, if you're traveling during this time or like two in the next two months, two weeks, two months, um, or during this time that the, the reading is timeline for, keep in mind, whenever you come across this is when you come across this. And if it resonates, it resonates. Time is not linear. I just do this for organizational purposes. Um, it's a very auspicious time for you to travel, okay? Um, 
I feel like it's going to be very fortunate for you, Scorpios, if you're traveling during this time or the next two weeks or the next two months. Very auspicious time to travel. Um, almost like like dumb luck is also what I'm getting too. Like they're telling me dumb luck. I don't know what that's about, but some people will be experiencing dumb luck <laughs> when you're traveling. All right, Scorpios, so let's get into this. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? I the whole deck just fell in my lap <laughs> hold on that was okay scorpios calm it down <laughs> calm it down now calm it down yeah i don't like this beady eye energy on you i really don't like it i really don't like it um just make sure you protect yourself evil eye all that stuff whatever you feel is best for your own protection energetically any messages for scorpios you know, Scorpios, okay, not, sorry, I know we don't have any cards out, I'm already getting stuff, because you guys were calling me, so I'm already getting messages pretty clear. Um, there's also this energy of, like, realizing that someone can't force you to do something, or it's like someone can't push you to do something, and they're very frustrated by that. They must not have dealt with many Scorpios, because you can't push a Scorpio to do shit, um, unless a Scorpio wants you to think you can. <laughs> oh, I love you, Scorpios. Um... Yeah, someone's frustrated with by that. Like, how come Scorpio's not doing what I expected? How come Scorpio's not doing what I wanted? I need Scorpio to do this. They're not doing it. Why are they Why are they not doing it? Someone's really mad that it's like, I think whoever this is, because this is not for everybody, whoever this is, Scorpio's, in, in your energy field, um, they're used to getting their way. They're used to getting their way. They're used to being able to, I don't want to say manipulate people, but manipulate people. And they can't do that with you. And it makes them insane. I think that's how they've just learned to go through life because they're really good at it. They might have an Ashleisha placement. Um, and not hating on Ashleishas. I got my own Ashleisha placement. But Ashleisha is like, it's just hypnotic. It's just, it's just hypnotic. Sometimes, he, sometimes people with these placements don't realize they're manipulating people. Because they're just hypno hypnotic. They're just hypnotic. Um... But I think this person is really used to that. Like people just kind of tend to fall in line with them. People just kind of tend to do whatever they want them to do without them having to do very much. And they can't do that with you, Scorpio. And it makes them insane because they don't really know how else to go about things because that's what they're used to. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? August 12th to the 21st. But you're going to be golden, Scorpio. You're golden. I'm getting a lot of star energy around you, actually. A lot of star energy. You're burning bright in the dark. <laughs> oh, you know what, Scorpios? That, that's also what some of you are dealing with. Some of you are connected to someone, or many, many people. Some of you, it's many people, where they're going through a really tough time in their life right now, where they're either depressed or work is not working out. They're just going through a tough time, and they see how well you're doing, and it makes them crazy. It makes them crazy. Okay, Scorpios, let's get this started. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? Please be mindful of your work environment. Please be mindful of your work environment. That's where I'm definitely feeling a lot of like smiling in your face, even though they talk shit behind your back. But you already know that, Scorpio. You're letting them think you don't, but you don't already know that. Any messages for Scorpios? Let's see here. Got a peeker. Didn't want to come out. Oh, see, look at that shit. Three of Cups in reverse, can't see any energy. Social circle that is like disintegrating is what I'm getting with that. Disintegrating. Yeah. Illusion, illusionary happiness in your social circle. Yeah, you already know, Scorpio. You already know that there are people close to you. You're keeping them close because you know they don't have your best interests at heart because you want to know what they're up to. You want to know what they're up to. You want to know why they're trying to like be nice in your face. Yeah, you want to know why. Any other messages for Scorpios? But just protect your energy right now, guys, okay? Any other messages for Scorpios? But I am also getting... I'm getting another energy here. Yeah, I'm getting where this is... Like, I'm also picking up on a romantic kind of situation here where someone wants to be close to you. This is interesting, Scorpio. It seems like most of you are keeping your enemies really close and the people who really... <laughs> care a lot like really deeply for you in a romantic way a little a little out why are you doing that that's mm. 
So you might, some of you might not have realized that you're doing that, that you're so focused on what people are up to in your life, that you're giving more attention to your enemies than you are people who care incredibly deeply for you. You have people that love you, you know that. I think you're, you want to siphon out the snakes in the grass first. I think that's why you're doing that. Because I feel like this energy of, of loving energy, wanting to come close to you, wanting to surround you, wanting to celebrate you, but it's not happening because you're spending too much time focusing on figuring out what your enemies are up to. Oh, well, my guide said it, it kind of has to be like that for a little while, so you can siphon through the snakes. Okay. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? August 12th to the 21st. Some of you are also a little hesitant about love right now. Like you want it, but you're like, there's some things I got to figure out first. There's some things I got to do first. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? August 12th to the 21st. Come on, Scorpios, don't get secretive on me. <laughs> Any messages for Scorpios? Regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Any other messages for Scorpios regarding love, August 12th to the 21st? I was like, oh shit, Scorpio, we're going to have a one card reading? No, we're going to have a two card reading. Oh, <laughs> five of swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. Oh God, Scorpios. Yeah, you're definitely siphoning through the, some snakes here. People who have a lot of love for you though, like I said, they really want to come close to you. They want to come close to you, but it's almost like they can sense, they can sense you're dealing with some tumultuous energy. You are definitely siphoning through the snakes a little bit here, which is good. I think that's good that you're doing that. Just don't do that for too long. <laughs> I love you, Scorpios, but I need to know what they're doing. I'm like, I know, I got you. I know, I know, I can feel that. You want to know what these snakes are up to, because it almost feels like for like a couple of you, especially where this is a work environment. Oh, some it is friends. Um, where I'm feeling like four to five, like four to five different energies within a group, it's the people you work with, or it's like people that you're friends with, where you know that something's up, you know it. So you're just kind of biding your time, biding your time, playing the game, smiling, smiling back, not giving a whole lot, but smiling back and just waiting for that shit to come to the surface. Yeah. Waiting for the true motives to come to the surface. But these loving energies that want to come close to you, I do have this sense of like wanting to surround you with softness. There's one energy in particular where I feel a really spiritual like telepathic connection. Yeah, they want to help you in this Scorpio. This is not for everybody, but it's like those who have this, again, spiritual telepathic connection with someone in a loving way, in a romantic way. They want to come in and surround you with softness because they know that there are snakes around you. They know that. Overall energy, we have the hanged man, Piscean energy. So <laughs> I feel almost Scorpio, I almost feel like this is you like sending out your energy to feel what's going on. <laughs> That's kind of how it feels. To feel what's going on here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? I think I, yeah, it's like, who, who's the worst? Who's like, who's the biggest snake of them all? You know, <laughs> Scorpios, I love your energy. I love you guys. Um, I'm also getting this energy of enlightenment trying to happen, but I don't feel like it's with you. I feel like you're already enlightened for the Scorpios and tapped into you right now. I feel like it's more for someone you're connected to. Mm. Scorpio, some people are trying to emulate you. Like, they, they're just kind of amazed at who you are and how you go about things, how you do things, and they're trying to figure out how to be more like you. Which is a form of a compliment. <laughs> oh, I just heard that Jungle Book song. Who sings that? Is it Baloo? It's the, is it, I, think, I can't remember the character's names very well. I think it's Baloo who sings that. I want to be more like you. I just heard that song. I love that song though. Um, I'm also feeling that some of you who have this like telepathic communication with someone, they are in the process of becoming more enlightened. More, I want to say more enlightened. They're already kind of enlightened. Could be a second phase for them. A second phase of enlightenment. But anyway, let's break down these energies a little bit more. Let's look at the Three of Cups in reverse and see what's going on with that. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about Three of Cups in reverse. For Scorpio. Regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. 
Two about the Red Cups in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Three of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Talking about Three of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Talking about Three of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. For some of you where there's multiple, like a big group of people that you're dealing with that are, that you can feel are kind of snakes a little bit, or like people who don't really have your best interests at heart. I feel like they want to learn from you, but they're going about it the wrong way. I don't know what that's about. Hold on, we got some peekers here. Wow. High Priestess in Reverse, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. And then Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy could also be Air or Fire. So these are three clarifiers. But that energy I was picking up on with that group, I think it started out um, like that idea of like, let's get in with Scorpio, let's get closer to Scorpio, let's figure out Scorpio. Um, and I feel like along the way, there are some energies within that group that have realized they might have misjudged you, Scorpio. Um, and so they're not really down with this whole snake-like behavior. But there are other snakes that are still fine being snakes. Okay, but anyway, Scorpios, so this energy, this, I feel like this is your energy, Scorpio, right here in the middle, that nine of pentacles, very confident, again, very like, again, protecting your energy, very much protecting your energy here, trying to mind your own business as much as possible, but high priestess in reverse, you can't help but just come into knowledge, you're a Scorpio, you're intuitive, you just know, <laughs> you just know, and so you already know that something's coming your way, some communication, some truth is going to be interrupting your solitude a little bit here, you already know. The High Priestess in Reverse, you already know something's coming. For some of you, you already know the drama's coming. Again, for those in that snake, snake scenario, you already know. Again, you're trying to keep quiet about it. Trying to play your cards right. Yeah, and for those where there's um, these loving energies that want to come in, Scorpio, that want to come in and surround you, especially romantic interest, you know they want to come in, Scorpio, and they're going to. They're going to. Let's see what else we got here. But the fact they're coming in as a Knight of Swords, mm, it's not the best. It's not my favorite knight. I'll put it that way. This Knight of Swords is not my favorite knight that's coming in to interrupt your solitude. A lot of you, your singlehood, if you're, you know, if you're single, because um, it is just communication. It's not the softest. It's not the most tactful. It's just like, I just need to tell you something. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> you know, it's not very soft. It's not very soft. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow. Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. You know, Scorpios. You could be a Libra Scorp Cusper. But Scorps, I love this energy for you right now. Because this Queen of Swords energy I'm picking up with you, it's like, again, very intuitive. You know, you see that her third eye is like shining bright. Very intuitive. Again, you're playing this very smart with the snakes okay you're playing this very smart with the snakes you're saying the things that need to be said but you also know that the moment you need to you're gonna pull out that stinker you're gonna pull out that sword the moment you need to you already know you are you scorpios you already know didn't we have a reading like this with that title a couple weeks ago you already know um, and for the, oh, and that's why, that's why, okay. That's also why this loving energy, for some of you, it's multiple people who are going to be talking to you, reaching out to you, so keep that in mind as far as your romantic um, interests are concerned. For some of you, it's just one person. Um, and if it's the one person, it's definitely that person you have that deep um, divine connection with, that spiritual connection with. They're coming in like this because they think you're going to be like this with them because you kind of are in this mode. Like I said, they can feel you, Scorpio. They can feel you. They know that you have snakes around you. For some, it's just a snake. Others, it's multiple. But they can feel that. So they know you're in this mode. They can feel you're in this mode. So they just assume that when they enter your energy field, you're going to be like this. But that's not how Scorpios operate. That's not how Scorpios operate. And I don't think this person knows that. Um, at least it's not how the Scorpios operate that I'm tapped into. Because you're in this mode to protect yourself, to protect your energy against the snakes. Um... But you wouldn't show that energy to someone that you really love and care about. You would be more of like a Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles kind of energy 
someone who's very welcoming, someone who wants to like, you know, open that door a little bit, but they see that you are like this with people right now. So that's what they think they're gonna get. So that's why they're coming in as a Knight of Swords. Ready to just be very direct and speak truth and not waste time, not waste time. So I've got three of cups in reverse. Wow, six of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, see Scorpios, like I said, you know something's up, you know something's awry and you're just keeping watch. You're waiting for the right time to do whatever actions you have to take, playing the game, smiling along, not letting people know what you know, okay? And again, this energy of the loving energy is coming in. They want to give you love. They want to give you more of that softness because they feel like you need it right now, Scorpio. And to be honest, I don't think they're wrong. I don't think they're wrong, um, especially with all the snakes that some of you guys are dealing with because some of you are dealing with multiple snakes. Oh, wow. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Scorpios, some of you might be feeling a little bit of loneliness, but I feel like it's more of just isolating yourself. Some people are perceiving you as being very lonely, whether you are or not. But again, I'm feeling like you just want to protect your energy. So you're just trying to do that. But some people are perceiving you as being lonely here. Some of you are, but I think it's more of a perception more of a perception. And where this person is more of a love interest, these love interests that are gonna be coming in here, specifically that one that I'm picking up on, they're really lonely without you. <laughs> they're really, really lonely without you. And they've been trying to keep their distance while you deal with the situation, but they don't wanna wait anymore. They don't wanna wait anymore. Talk about three of cups in reverse. For Scorpios regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Okay. So I'm gonna book. Scorpio. I'm picking up on a Scorpio where someone might have stolen money from you or stolen something from you or you feel like someone took something from you tangible like tangible so like something you can hold in your hand or even time time could even be considered tangible um yeah someone might have took something from you Scorpio and this person might be trying to do something about that make amends about that last card out oh yeah king of wands Leo energy could also be fire or air the person who's ready to take action here yeah, this is your night. Very fiery energy. Both of these cards are air and fire. Both of them are. Leo, Gemini specifically, okay? Really ready to take action regarding this to show you the love that they feel you deserve right now. And also for those who like, again, this energy of taking something to somehow try to replace it or make amends. Oh, it can't be replaced. That's what my guides just said. It can't be replaced. I think some of you even might have just said that to me as well because it came in very loud. Um, it can't be replaced. So to make amends for it, to make amends for it. Yeah. Scorpios, be so mindful about these snakes. They keep bringing that up to me. They keep bringing that up to me. For those where you're dealing with one snake, oh, or the ringleader of the group of snakes, they're ready to take action on this. Whatever it is they're plotting, they're ready to take action. Stay tapped to your intuition, Scorpios. You're, you've already been playing this smart. Keep playing it smart. Keep protecting yourself. Overall energy for three of cups in reverse. Ten of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Ooh, a lot of unhappiness. For those where this is the romantic interest, because a lot of you are experiencing all of this, okay? Um, some of you are it's just bits and pieces. Some of you are just in the snake energy. <laughs> Others of you are experiencing the love situation. Others, it's both. But this ten of cups in reverse energy, someone is just really unhappy in their home environment. I'm actually hearing depressed. They're depressed, Scorpio. They're depressed. They want to replace what they can't replace. They want to make amends with you. They want to come closer to you. They want to exchange loving energies. But again, they feel like you're in that Queen of Swords energy. So they're going to come in a little rough. Not realizing that you would be softer with them than you would with these snake, center, snake energies interesting okay all right let's look at the five of swords in reverse and then we'll get some advice mm -hmm. you know i'm feeling legacy i haven't pulled the legacy deck out in a while let's do legacy for this one what about five of swords in reverse tell me about five of swords in reverse for scorpios tell me about five of swords in reverse for scorpios oh scorpios scorpios my guides just said, don't shit where you eat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. I love when they're blunt like that. Don't shit where you eat, Scorpio. <laughs> 
that's not going to be working out for some of you. <laughs> Time of Five of Swords in Reverse. For Scorpios, regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Time of Five of Swords in Reverse for Scorpios, regarding love, August 12th to the 21st. Time up five of swords in reverse. Wow. Eight of cups in reverse, Virgo energy and ace of cups. Like I said, these loving energies feel like you're kind of putting them off, like putting them at a distance while you deal with these snakes, like not putting energy into this. They love you, man. This loving energy really loves you, <laughs> really, really loves you. I am getting a sense of overworking though, Scorpio. So keep that in mind. And I think you're just working a lot because you you know the snakes are in your work environment for some of you. Yeah. So that's why you're putting more energy into that to cover your own to cover your back. Cover your back a little bit. Someone has also put in a lot of time thinking of their approach. Too much. It's like oh it's like overkill. Almost getting like over planning, over analyzing on how to make on the, well, actually on the connection itself, on the connection itself and how to make this approach as a knight, how to make this approach as a knight. Talking about five of swords in reverse. Yeah, Scorpios, whoever like took this, ener this energy of like thievery, it's so interesting. Some of you might just feel like they stole your heart and never gave it back. Some of you might feel that way because it's, it's about thievery, like first and foremost. Um, that keeps coming in really strong and they do want your forgiveness, Scorpio. I don't think you, mm, Scorpios. I don't think you're giving it though, to be honest. Eight of Swords in Reverse, Gemini energy. Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Past life soulmate, Karmic energy. Full in Reverse, Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian energy. Then we end with the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and Justice, man. Oh, <laughs> Justice, Libra energy. Yeah, someone wants to um, release themselves from the past. Yeah, Scorpios, whoever this loving energy is, they want to release themselves from any uh, wrongdoings they've done. Yeah, past mistakes with that full in reverse and the six of swords in reverse. Stress from the past, anything that's plaguing them. I feel like this person's being plagued. Whoever is coming towards you, Scorpio, in the romantic interest sort of way. <laughs> the thoughts of you are also kind of making them insane. I got to be honest, the thoughts of you are kind of making them insane. But they also want to release themselves from any, like, Anything from the past that's really um, upsetting their peace of mind, okay? I just like this person's being driven crazy by thinking about you and missing you so much, which is why they're trying to like, okay, I just got to do something about it. I just got to do something about it. Yeah, I feel like this is relating more to the love interest than anything having to do with the snakes. But Scorpios, I think you, you know exactly what you're doing with these snakes because you've been through this before in your life. Yeah, it's almost like some of you are even like thinking to yourselves that, wow, they think I've never played this game before. You know, in Scorpio, sometimes people think that they can do that to a Scorpio. Because people, I feel like people really misunderstand Scorpios. Like, Scorpios have giant hearts. They really do. Like, big, fat hearts. Really big, fat hearts. And they really, like, as much as they get that rap for being vindictive, right, it's like, Scorpios can love just as hard as they can be vindictive. Vindictive. I just don't like that word. Um, and that goes without saying for any sign where it's like, you know, any any sign that has like a stereotypical pro or positive, they are just as intense in the negative sense of that. You know, it's just like the shadowy version of that. Like Leos, for example, they're known for stereotypically for having a lot of pride and being kind of selfish or like a narcissist. But same goes for the opposite of that in the positive. They are so freaking loyal. They're probably the most loyal sign of the zodiac, right? And that goes for any sign. Any positive about a sign, they're just as intense in the negative. So as vindictive as Scorpios are considered to be, they're just as intense in the positive when it comes to their heart space. They just feel really deep. They feel really deep. And so sometimes Scorpios, people think they can take advantage of you and then they learn the hard way that they can't, you know? Anyway. So then we end with this Two of Pentacles and Justice. Making way towards justice, making way towards balance with this romantic energy, some energies, okay? They want to give. They want to give, they want to give, they want to give. They want to give to you, Scorpio. 
Some of these romantic interests have definitely done you wrong in the past, though. Can definitely feel that. Because it's like this energy of making amends. But for those where they're asking forgiveness, Scorpios, I gotta be honest, some of you, I can feel it. You are not, you're, you're not really in that energy of forgiving this person. That's for some of you. And I think that's more for those who took, who took from you. But they do want to provide justice. And for those that just want to love on you, they want to give you more balance and more support. They want to support you. Thank you. Yeah, for those where they didn't do you wrong and they just want to come in and love on you, they want to support you while you're dealing with these snakes, while you're going through this time. Overall energy. Oh, 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 ten of cups, spicy and energy. I love that. Look at this. Ten of cups in reverse to the ten of cups upright. Yeah, see, Scorpios, there are a lot of people who love you. You're just keeping them at a distance while you deal with the snakes in the grass, while you protect your energy and get through this, I want to say awkward time. It just feels like an awkward time for you. Definitely regarding work and just people who are out for you because of your light. But these loving energies, they really love you. <laughs> they really love you. Um, you bring a lot of joy to their life. Even when you're not around, just knowing that you're in their life brings them a lot of joy. And again, for those where these romantic interests might have done you wrong at some point, they do want to make up for it. They do want to make up for it. And it's like they want to give you the joy that you gave them, even if they didn't return it to you initially. Does that make sense? It's like you gave to this person and they took from you. <laughs> they took from you um, and they want to make that up to you because you gave to them. But yeah, Scorpios, you do have loving energies that really just want to support you in this. So just keep that in mind, Scorpio, as you are protecting your energy and maybe isolating yourself a little bit. Um, just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and pull some advice here. Any advice from our Scorpios regarding this spread? I'm dying to know what was taken because they're screaming that out at me. Yeah, some of you feel like this, like someone might have taken your heart and never gave it back. Some might have actually stolen money, like stolen something from you, or just took too much of your precious time. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? One more. But Scorpio, you know what's up. Shoot, look at this. You know what's up. You're very confident in what you know. It's all being revealed to you. And I think that's also why some of you are isolating yourselves because the more you isolate yourselves, the more answers you get. The more answers you get from your intuition. Any other advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice from my Scorpios? Any other advice from our Scorpios regarding this spread? And Scorpios, I think it's okay to let some of these loving energies in, especially those who did not do you wrong and who just want to support you. I think that's okay. Let them in a little bit. Doesn't mean that, you know, you're not keeping your eye on those who are keeping their little beady eye on you, right? <laughs> Any other advice from our Scorpios regarding this spread? Yeah, but just keep it, yeah, because Scorpios, sorry, they're really bringing me back to that, those damn snakes. They're about to take action on something. I don't know what they think they can take action on, Scorpio. Because it looks like you're sitting pretty strong. They think they have something up their sleeve, but I don't, whatever they think these snakes or this snake thinks that they have up their sleeve, I don't think they really have it. I don't think they really have what they think they have. Oh, wow. What did I say, Scorpios? Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. <laughs> yeah, keep protecting your energy, Scorpio. With the energy of three and wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. 64, a cyclical energy. Scorpios, keep protecting yourself. You know, you know that there is someone out to get you. For some, it's a group that's like, you know, doesn't have your best interests at heart here. And others, there's someone trying to return to make amends for what they took. Again, took, whatever they took from you. Please protect your energy. 
from those energies. The only energies I don't think you need to protect yourself from are those that want to love on you and support you during this time, okay? Any other advice from a Scorpios? Oh, Scorpio. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an 8. Scorpio, I know I don't need to explain this card to you. You already know spirit has a plan. You know it because spirit talks to you all the time. <laughs> They talk to you all the time. Spirit's guiding you. You're exactly where you need to be, even if it's a funky place, okay? This is my blueprint card in this deck, not to mention it breaks down to an eight, the eighth house, your house, Scorpio. Also an energy of success and prosperity and abundance to come your way. You're already enjoying that, Scorpio. You're already enjoying that abundance and success. You're in the right place at the right time. You're enjoying your life. People want to hate and that's fine. Just keep protecting yourself. Keep protecting yourself. I feel like some of you are, are going through a bit of a transformation though as well. Well, is it a transformation or just more progression? No, it's progression. It's progression and elevation, but it is starting something new in your life. People are picking up on that. And again, you got those snakes around you who are picking up on that. Any other advice from a Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice from a Scorpios regarding this spread? <laughs> Scorpios, you already know. Parrot spirit, watch your words. You already know that you shouldn't be saying everything and you're not. You're not. You're saying what you need to say to let people think what you want them to think. Especially those snakes. So keep doing it. Keep doing it. Any other advice from a Scorpios regarding this spread? Also, though, with these loving energies who want to support you, please be mindful of, of how little you're talking to them. Um, because these loving energies who haven't done you wrong, they really do want to support you, Scorpio. Um, they just want they just want to be in your life a little bit more. They want to be in your energy a little bit more, especially as you're dealing with, you know, protecting your energy. So just be mindful of that, okay? see oh wow dear spirit bring a gentle touch 18 breaking down to a nine you have two nines here scorpio you got two nines that are about completion here god it's like these snakes see you in such like a sweet energy and you're you are sweet you're sweet and you are very loving you do have a big ass heart you're <laughs> scorpios i love you some of you are really letting them think that that's all that's there until the moment comes where you need to Pull out your singer, pull out that sword. Again, with these loving energies, please be a little soft with them. These loving energies who haven't done you wrong, they just want to support you, Scorpio. So let them, let them, let them support you. Ooh, spider spirit, make your dreams real. Very Scorpionic card for me. Spiders always make me think of Scorpios. 56, breaking down to an 11. Like I said, you're coming into something really awesome, something really great. Koala spirit has even confirmed that. You're already in a great place and you are shining bright and that's why you have snakes around you, Scorpio. Because you're making shit happen for yourself. Some people are trying to emulate you. Some people want to be you. Some people can't understand how you do what you do. Because you, it's, ju it's, you, it's just you. You're just being you. You're just being you. And that's it. That's the secret ingredient. You're just you. If people want to hate on you for that, let them hate. But the people who want to love on you, let them love on you. Any other advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, Scorpio. I, I freaking love this card. I love that this card has come out for so many people recently. I love that. Otter spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. This is like six of cups, two of cups, lover's energy. It's like someone really has your back here, Scorpio. They really want to love on you. They're there for you. Let them be there for you. For those who haven't done you wrong, remember, there's some loving energies here who have done you wrong, who took, took from you, and they want to do something about it, even though they can't replace what they took. Um, but there are loving energies who do want to support you, Scorpio. They want to support you and they want to see you get your justice as well. Especially, yeah. Scorpios, some of you have a loving energy in your life that's very aware of the of another energy who has love for you, who took from you. It's almost like new, new boo versus the old boo. It's kind of how that feels. If you're in that scenario, let the new boo help you. Let the new boo be there for you. <laughs> okay. Um, 
let these loving and loving energies in that have never done you wrong or who haven't done you wrong because they want to support you they love you no matter what they want to see you succeed they want to see you triumph over these snakes and especially they want to see you triumph and deal in a healthy way with this person who took from you okay oh scorpios i knew you guys were sos me for a reason <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great week and night, Scorpios. Namaste.